what is up my fellow dudes and dudes, it is me, Joe Plains Games here, and I am here with a Cinema 4D tutorial, and this tutorial is how to get, uh, this cool looking sort of background for your YouTube channel, or your Facebook profile, or your, you know, anything pretty much. So as you can see, it's like letters, and it's all like, it, the letters are a little bit, they're like cracking sort of thing, and then you have the really cool background where it's all like, it's like shattered glass sort of. So yeah, we're gonna get to do that today. So what you wanna do first is go to MoGraph, Mo, t no, wait, not, no, no, Tracer. You go to MoGraph, Mo Text, then you go to Object, then you can just name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna do DPG for Dermot Plays Games. And uh, uh, you wanna have a nice thick font. So I'm just gonna go with Azar. Because I really like that font. So, yeah, you're going to want to do that. And so, you're going to need a plugin called Therousy. And I'll leave a link in the description to that. It's it's completely free, and it's a really cool uh, plugin. I really like it. Alright, so what you want to do, you want to do that. You can go ahead and adjust the thickness if you want. You know, I just... I, I you know, I... I'm gonna leave it like the. I don't know why, but I, I am. Oh God, the stuttering today is just terrible. All right, now you're gonna go up here where it says Mo Text, and you're gonna click on it, and then press Control C and then Control V to duplicate it. And on Mo Text, like Mo Text One, you wanna go to Caps. Like, make sure you have it selected. Gonna Caps, fill it on Start, and then on End, fill it. And then you can go ahead and play around with the radius if you want. I'm just leave it at three. Now, what this is gonna do is, uh, as you can see a little indentation right there. Uh, that's like a little sort of background lettering, I guess, for for the actual DPG is so that you have that uh, purple sort of thing. Like, you see how it has that purple background around the letters, just like. Like right there, you see how it's like the G and then the purple? Yeah, just like that. So that's what that's gonna do. Let me just adjust it a little bit. There we go. There. Right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna create three different uh, materials. Like just, right, so double click on this little area down here. Just double click three times. You know, just double click, yeah, such. And now what we're gonna do is actually select the color for our outline. Out I'm gonna do red and black for mine. So, but you can do whatever color you want. But you know, like I said, I'm gonna do red and black because I like red. But it's not my favorite color though. So what you wanna do is just either put it on the outline of your of your lettering, or just go up here and go to put it on Motex dot one. You know, just drag it on there. See, now you're gonna have that red outline, sort of. Well, what did I just do? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm still a bit of a noob to this program, so yeah. And so you're gonna have that like red outline, sort of thing, and such. What am I doing? I don't want to pan. Anyways. You just, uh, I'll work with that. There's, yeah, and such. What am I doing? Am I playing with, uh, what, what the? Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, so just leave it like that. Alright, now what you want to, now this time what we're going to do is we're actually going to, like, color in the inside. And this is what's going to have that little purple effect in the background as you can see and it has that black and a little bit of purple this is what's going to be the purple like itself but for instead of purple like I said I'm going to use red so I'm just going to use red and so you want to check your color uh, you want to tick off reflection uh, I just gotta... <sighs> sorry about that and then I click on reflection and Go to Fresnel, and then go to Specular, then go to Metal, 
the just metal, the mode, you know, stuff. I'm gonna tell him to stop messaging me real quick, so uh, I shall be. And I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, all right. So where were we? Yeah, we were in the mode. Mode metal. So yeah, color, then reflection. You wanna put your reflection to Fresnel. Stop messaging me. <laughs> And do you want to put your specular to metal and your color, you know, whatever color you want. So what you want to do, you drag that inside, like, the big letter, like, not on the outside, but, like, on the inside. Then you want to do another material and just pick whatever color you want. And you don't have to edit this one. I'm going to use black. And you just drag it on top of the red, like, on top of where you put your last color. And so, yeah. That's what that's going to look like. So now we're going to get to the fun part. And that's going to be cutting up everything into awesome little pieces. So you want to go to Plugins, The Rousey. And then you want to go to where it says Pieces. You want to go to Random. But you want to click on uh, Veroni. I don't, know how that, I don't know how to say that. And you want to go to Pieces, 15. Oh, you can do how many pieces you want. I just like 15 so that it doesn't lag my computer as much. Because my computer is uh, not as good as it used to be. So, oh, whoops. So you want to click on Motext. Uh, and you want to click on Break Now. Like, after you have everything set up. Now, that's just going to break apart all of the uh, letters. As you can see, it's like putting it together. It's like one big puzzle and such. So, yeah, okay, that's done. So now what you want to do is go to Add Cube Object, go to Null, and uh, select all of the Throwsy, like, materials that Throwsy added. And then you just make them a child of Null, so Null will be, like, one big file for all of these things. So you want to go to MoGraph, Effector, and then go to Random. You just want to put that as a child of Null as well. So now what you want to do is just click and drag right here. And as you can see, all of the pieces just like kind of fell apart. So you just like that. And that's really cool itself. I mean, that could be your profile picture. And uh, see, it's like the black on the outside and then a little bit of red like the red on the inside so yeah that's how that works so just play around with that however you want so now what you want to do you want to go to your go to null control c and control v so you want to duplicate it and so open null one and go to random go to deformer and go to point what this is going to do is this is going to be creating the kind of like glassy uh, background for your for your banner or something or whatever you're doing. Not glassy, but like, you know, it's like broken glass sort of. So you want to go to uh, Deformer, Point, Effector, and you want to put it all the way up. So it's going to make that big mess of just stuff. Now, it looks ugly now, but like if you put it back a little bit, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. And, uh, you want to put it so where uh, you can, you know, it like goes through the letters, but not all the way like that. But that's fine because what we're going to do next is kind of cover it up. So you want to go to your regular null, open that up, go to random, like go to your random effector, and then you're going to put your strength, like your deformer, should be off. And you, uh, you're going to go to effector, and your strength. Uh, just do whatever you want to play around with it. Uh, I, I like doing like three three or five percent You know between those numbers something like that You know five. I mean, you don't you can do it like that if you want, but that's just a big mess So, you know, you just want to make it like crack a little bit But not too much you see right there uh, It's like kind of like blends it with the cracks. So it's no problem if it's uh, the lettering I mean you could just push that Letter back if you're, you know, if you don't like it. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. And so, yeah. So this is pretty much the tutorial itself. But, 
Uh, I don't want to just end it there, because that would be boring. And so I'm trying to figure out how to get my regular view back. Because, uh, like I said, I'm still a bit of a noob at this program. And such perspective. How do I do that? Anyways, I'll figure that out later. And so, alright, so now, I mean, this is pretty much the tutorial. You can do whatever you want with this, just like right now. But, like, I want to, like, teach you how to create a background if you don't know how to do that already. Uh, you're going to go to Create, Object, and Plane. And as you, like, as a plane, you know, it spawns, you're going to see the red uh, little axis key control. And then if you go like more in front of it, there's gonna be like this little cube. If you click and drag it, that like makes it the plane bigger. And there's one in front of the blue as well. And so you just make that bigger. And so right here in rotation, uh, we're gonna put it 90. So it'll be look like, straight up. And you wanna just click and drag the the green arrow sort of thing back so that you know it covers up the whole background did I do it yes I did it oh my god are you proud of me yes I am proud of me great job boys girl I am proud all right so yeah now uh, for like if you want to render it uh, you could just go to, you know, render settings, and instead of saving it as a pic, like as a, uh, as a movie, you go to save, and you go, like, you know, like JPEG, or, you know, whatever you use, uh, use JPEG, and such, you can use for, uh, presets, like 1280 by 1024 I believe that is the YouTube banner resolution and such for like uh like for doing your banner thing name and uh so yeah you can change the color of it by the way I'm gonna just go to black and then I'm gonna add a little light I'm not good with lighting like I'm not a pro but I like I like uh, dragging the light to where. So you just do that. Click right. No, grab the light. Come on. Yeah, there we go. See how it makes it. It makes it bright, obviously. Alright, just go back a little bit. No, stop it. Let's go. Stop being a derp. I'm sorry. Right. And file transfer. Alright, so we do that. Come on. No, no, stop it. You want to go back as far as you want. It's just so that you have that cool, like, looking effect. I mean, I like, I think it's cool. And you just want to click on, like, the little movie thing. I don't know what it's called. With the, uh, thing. It's, and it's going to say render, render the, the active project, you know, in picture viewer and such. So, yeah, this is the finished product. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make the cool-looking background sort of thing. <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, I'll leave Frowzy in the description below and such, and uh, I'll put up another video on how to uh, download Cinema 40 for free, you know, Cinema 40 R13, which is the one that I am using, so yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys later, toodles!